The BepiColombo mission is a joint European and Japanese mission to Mercury. It was launched last October and it's on its way to Mercury right now. The only previous mission to go to Mercury was NASA's Messenger mission, which launched in 2011, and that used conventional rockets. Chemical rocket works by causing an insane chemical reaction, and Newton's third law takes over, and your rocket or your spacecraft is on its way. Because of the amount of thrust required, over 50% of the Messenger spacecraft was actually taken up with fuel, leaving very little space for the science payload that was there to actually collect data once it arrived at Mercury. It's more difficult to get to Mercury than it is to Pluto. The reason is because Mercury is so close to the Sun, any spacecraft is pulled in by the gravitational pull of the Sun. So we have to put in enormous amounts of effort to decelerate the spacecraft to allow it to go into orbit around Mercury. And this requires a very special propulsion system. We're using a novel propulsion system on Bepi Colombo, which uses a much less fuel and allows more than twice the number of scientific instruments to be installed on the spacecraft. The advancements that Kinetic have made in electric propulsion have innovated at such the point it's one of the most powerful electric propulsion thrusters on the planet. The key technology is the ion thrusters, which is the technology that Kinetic has been developing now for over 50 years and is culminating in the T6 thrusters installed on Bepi Colombo. They work using electrical energy, which is used to convert the propellant into a plasma and then ejects that plasma at extremely high velocity out of the engine. And it's at extreme high velocity that makes these engines very efficient. The exhaust speed at which the particle is ejected from the thruster is at least 10 times higher. And that makes the system much more efficient. When I started, I was a simple test engineer and that increased and grew into being a test lead. So having responsibility for the overall test first with the thruster and then with the overall system. So the power and propellant elements of the system where I had to manage the test team and make sure everything was going smoothly. The benefits to Kinetic from the Bepi Colombo mission are first to have an extremely good exposure on our expertise in electric propulsion. We are one of the key players in the world in that technology. And that is a real showcase for us, which will hopefully enable us to have access to other commercial applications. We're now looking at missions to other planets, for example, to Mars and to the asteroids and even comets, using the extreme high efficiency of these ion engines. In terms of the benefits to science, this will be enormous. There are a lot of satellites that are used for commercial purposes, for example, telecoms, providing broadband signals and mobile phone signals, and also sat-nav and all those satellites are now looking at, to electric propulsion as the next technology that allow them to deliver more but for less cost.